Uh, many horses uh, along uh, one's uh, you know, interests in horse racing that win the maiden and just keep you interested in how they're going to go post maiden and that's the feeling I got with this horse. Uh, both Garth and uh, young Luke Ferraris, they had positive comments to say about this horse. But uh, Garth's a master tactician and I must compliment him for that before we start talking about the owner etc. Because it's all about trying to find the right taste with the horse that you like. And it shows you the ability and cleverly placed by you, uh, Gart, in the C Division handicap for him to be at the bottom of the weights. Yeah, I don't know if it's that clever. I, I must be honest, he, he's, he's a progressive type of horse. You can see by the way he ran from way off the pace the first time in a good time. And then, then they ignored him. And I said, you know, with 57 and the, the way he finished last time and the time that he ran for the 14. With a lightweight, they've got to be good to beat him. Uh, Shane's horse is a very good horse. There's also a uh, whole savannah like him, and, and, and he's a horse to be respected, obviously. And I just said to Luke, don't panic. He's got the stride. He's got the finish. He's got the weight in his favor. Um, the, the rail is far out, which makes it a bit easier to come from behind. Uh, and, you know, he took all those things into consideration, and the fact that he rode him like he rode him the first time. He knew what he had underneath him. At one time, it looked like he, the horses had got away a little bit. But when he puts in that finish and he lengthens that stride, he, he won a nice race. He's only, I think he's two years and 11 months old. Yes. And uh, it's a big ask. I mean, uh, I, when I looked at his age and I looked at the, the competition, I thought, hang on a second. Maybe I'm stepping him on him a bit hard. The only thing that was in his favor was that it was still a 14 and I hadn't gone further too quickly. So he can still go to the 18. i just like to say to Mr. Hoy, well done. Thank you for the support, David Ferraris. Thank you for the support. Uh, you've got a nice horse here. Um, I know... This is one that surely should be over with you, and um, uh, we'll look after the rest, and the other horse run a good race in the second race. Yeah, and thanks to Hollywood for the sponsorship, Luke for riding in a nice race, and Michael, Sam, and the guys back at the stables for hard work. You've said it all, God. There's nothing that I can pick your brain with, but I must compliment you. I mean, this horse, uh, the way he's come on from his last start as well, certainly done an outstanding job with him. Yeah, I must say, and, I'm, and, and, I'm, and I must mention uh, Mr. Orman Ferraris, the horses came down in good nick. They'd had the grounding, and it makes a big difference. This was had, had the grounding in Joburg. They came down, yeah, they'd had that long work. I just had to get them uh, into ra racing fiddle, which wasn't difficult. This was, this was no problems. He's laid back. He takes everything as it comes, eats his food, goes to work, doesn't fresh, doesn't mess around. Um, yes, and I must say thanks to Mr. Orman Ferraris. I'll give our best to Mr. Hoy, whether you speak to him English or Mandarin. Tell him you said well done. Yeah, don't worry, he'll be watching. I mean, the eight hours ahead, it's probably early hours of the morning there, but I'm sure he'll be watching. Thank you. Well done to you, Mr. Hoy. Congratulations. You look to have a smart toast on your hand. And what about this ride? Ice cool is our good friend, Luke Ferraris. And if you watch the interview of Luke at his last start, you know, I asked him a lot about this individual, and he just got the feeling there was a twinkle in his eye. And... You're spot on because he's a horse that you liked, uh, you know, after partnering him last. In fact, you liked him from day one, I'm certain. Yeah, he's, he's always shown um, his ability from a youngster. Um, you know, I think our biggest concern is coming here um, with him still being a two-year-old. You know, he's only foaled in October, so he's, he's still getting to three. Um, but I think, you know, today was a nice way to show, our, you know, his ability. And it was, I think it was quite a tough field. Um, there were some hard knockers. But yeah, he's definitely shown some of his ability, and I think there's a lot more to come. It was two different races. I mean, you know, the one horse was skated clear, and then the race began where the second horse was. But then you found yourself, you know, languishing towards the back of the field. At any stage, you, you, did you think I was too far off them? Yeah, you know, um, from his when he won his maiden year, he showed that how green he actually is. Um, and I think he's still, you know, he's still learning a lot, um, especially out the pens. You know, he's he's pretty um, slow out the pens today, and he, he you know he switches off like a light and. Um, you know, when I, was, when I looked at the pace and how he was traveling, I, I was happy. You know, I said, well, we've got to make do from here. And, yeah, when I asked him to quicken, and he you know, it was like a hot knife through butter. And a matter of strides. Yeah, no, he's definitely a smart horse. He's, he's a lovely, big, strong boy with a lovely action. Well, I wish you all the best with him. And uh, the last time we spoke about the owner as well, Mr. Hoy, and he, he's watching. You, uh, you brushed up on your Mandarin? No, no not yet. <laughs> sure. We've we still, we still, we still been here. Um, but, yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to Mr. Hoy. Um, well, then to my granddad, uh, to dad, and to my sponsors, Aventure. Yeah, how often you get to speak to, to granddad and dad on a daily basis? Yeah, granddad and I uh, speak quite a bit. Um, dad I'm always in touch with, especially after races. Um, but yeah, it's, it's lovely when a plan comes together. I'll well, give them our best as well, Luke. But uh, auntie, congratulations with this fella. And uh, 
I must say that you are spot on in the interview when he won his maiden. You had high hopes for him and uh, he's proving you right. Yeah, thanks. Another big thank you to Mr. Pull and to um, his old team back at home. Nice one. Thank you. It's a double for Luke Ferraris and uh, yeah, a horse that just keeps you interested. Well, after this performance, I'm sure there'll be many that will be wanting to see where he's placed next. And I suspect it's not going to be over 1,400. It could be a mile. It could be 1,800. It would be surprise me to see him go 10 furlongs next time out. He looks like a smart horse. Yes, he had the weight on his side, 52 and a half kgs. But let's factor in, he hasn't yet turned three. It'll all happen on the 16th of October when it's happy birthday to Bay Tips. 13, 1, 9 and 7 is the way they cross the line here in race number five. Racing away from the 1400 meter marker. So there's a scramble on for the lead, and it's Leslie Shadow Liner. Antigonus is right there. Admiral Scarce trying to overcome the draw. Mr. Fitz connect me's along the inside, and then comes Truly Wicked. Short stops got the white head gear just behind Truly Wicked's racing seven, eight lengths off them. And Admiral's Guest is going along at a nice clip up front to lead it by that four. Leslie Shadowline, Antigonus, Mr. Fitz got about eight lengths to make up. So 